this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikal Tal and Ivo Ney. This very beautiful chess game was played in Soviet Union in 1958. Mikal Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Ivo Ney played e6, d4, French defense, e5, advanced variation, c5, c3. Knight to c6, knight to f3, queen to b6, pressure is on the pawn on d4. How to defend the pawn? Tal played bishop to d3, c takes on d4, c takes on d4, black to move. Even a played bishop to d7, what's wrong with winning the pawn? Would you take the pawn on d4 or not? Let's see what happens if knight takes on d4. Then knight takes and after queen takes, bishop to b5 check, winning the queen. To avoid that, even a played bishop to d7. How to defend the pawn now? Tal castled kingside. Knight takes on d4, knight takes on d4, queen takes on d4, knight to c3, queen takes on e5, and black is two pawns up, but behind in development. This variation is known as Milna Bari Gambit. Why to move? Rook to e1, attacking the queen, queen to d6. Knight to b5, attacking the queen again, queen to b8. If bishop takes knight, then bishop takes bishop check, and then black is losing the castling rights. So we have a queen to b8, queen to f3, black to move. Black considered the bishop to e7, but then bishop to f4, attacking the queen. So e1 a played bishop to d6, preventing bishop to f4 by white. But this move has a negative side. What is the negative side? Tal captured the pawn on d5. Pawn on e6 is pinned. Bishop takes on h2 check. King to h1. Bishop to c6. Black is fighting back. Queen to g5, attacking the pawn on g7. Knight to f6. White to move. What would you do? Is taking the pawn on g7 okay? If not, how would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Tal played the best move, f4, breaking the communications between the queen and the bishop on h2. If queen takes on g7, then rook to g8. And after queen takes knight, bishop takes on g2, check, mate. So we have f4, the best move, h6. Is taking the pawn on g7 okay now? Would you? Tal did. Rook to g8 white to move. Perhaps this is the most interesting position of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this one? Queen takes on f6 is also winning. Tal's choice was a more spectacular one. Rook takes on e6, check. Pawn takes rook. Bishop to g6, check. King to d8. White played the move. And black resigned. The move is... Queen takes on f6, black resigned. In view of this continuation. King to c8. 
Then queen takes pawn on e6 check. King to d8. Queen takes rook check. King to e7. Queen to f7 check. King to d8. Queen to f8 check. Bishop to e8. And now the obvious. What is the obvious? This is not the obvious. Queen takes bishop on e8 check mate to avoid all this torture. Play with black pieces, even a resigned that move. 21. What do you think of this game? What do you think of this gambit? Milna Bari gambit. When white sacrifices two pawns for a deadly attack. Is this something that you would like to play against French defense? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.